You have the same 100 miles. And you, you, we already know what it is in Texas. They already say what it is in Texas. They don't have to wait till next week, man. All right, I'm coming home. All right, later. That is solid ice on the ground right now. Solid ice. Oh, we scared of this right now. What we're seeing on the TV is never that bad. I've been in snowstorm, I've been in blizzard basically. This is insane. Supposed to be negative 26 where you going and when you go to Wisconsin? Oh, fuck that. I'm, they're gonna have to wait till whenever. I'm not kidding myself for these people. They got to understand that, man. Yeah, yeah, this weather ain't no joke. But you know what's so funny, bro? As bad as people making it out to see right now, I guarantee when I get up, they're gonna be nice and sweet. Yeah, that's what usually happens. I have never ran into. Dude, we've been in worse weather. We've been in the snow coming down. Look what we're scared of this right now. What we've seen on the TV is never that bad. I've been in snowstorm, I've been in blizzard basically, and you know, I've been 30, 40 miles an hour just cruising, and sometimes you, you ride for an hour and you're out of it. Or you stop and you chill out until the next day. It's never that bad, I'm telling you. Social media or internet makes things look worse than what it really is. Snowfall, the snow rate's now coming down pretty rapidly right now. People even doing some donuts in the parking lot behind me. About three hours ago, take a look down Madison Avenue and you can see for yourself that uh, most of the commuters, the drivers, heeding the advice of authority. 36 states under a winter alert. That means a warning, a watch, and advisory. Where you see the pink, that's parts of Texas once again, a place that does not need any more winter weather. Parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, seeing some winter weather. But with everything that happened on I-35. <laughs> prayers to all the family, the people who were involved, and the other accidents that were not on, you know, the news or anything like that, but there were other accidents too, other pileups. 
I'm really just gonna take my time and get over there. So I feel like taking 75 North and then coming across is the best option for me. Um, bad thing is though, even when I get to that area where I'm dropping off at, both locations are in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I ain't gonna say the middle of nowhere, but they're off the major highways. Like I said, I think I'm ready for it. I should be ready for it. It's tough to get loads right now, and it's bad because people are giving out cheap loads. Um, we got a decent load. We got three loads going to um, Texas area, and we're gonna make it do what it do. Unfortunately, like I said, I like to be raw with everybody, keep everything real. We have to go. We have to continue making our money. I mean, we can stop, but the bills don't stop. You know. Um, that insurance that we got, it don't stop. They don't give a fuck about no weather. Uh, our truck knows they don't give a fuck about no weather. You know, so our bills at home, my life, our, you know, stuff like that, don't give a fuck about no weather. Yes, now we do have money for a rainy day, but you still gotta go make your money, you know what I mean? We're not no big company where we can just rely on the sole factor of, you know, we can stay home for a week or we can stay home for a month and let this let this weather blow, other, blow, let this weather blow over. So it is what it is. I'm not tripping. I'm actually excited to get out here and see what this is about and give you guys something to look at and so you guys can um, be ready for this type of weather when you guys come out here or if you guys are at home watching me, then you guys get to see me go through it. Showing all green doing that. Um, yeah. I chose not to do that because I don't know how Tennessee nor, you know, cut, cutting across, I was going to cut across and take some, some back roads. So uh, I'm going to just stay on the major highway, which I'm taking 20 all the way over there. Yeah, just do what you can, man. I mean, you can't get in. Everybody understand right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody understands. So. so you can't do it. We'll be all right. We'll be all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Just touched Mississippi. Woo-wee! Look at that, that's ice on the road I'm rolling over right now. So I'm gonna say this, this is my opinion. You guys can, um, I guess, comment what you guys feel. My opinion is, the reason why there's so many accidents on these roads is because of the fact that people, they don't know how to drive. It's not even about not knowing how to drive, it's about driving safe. Like, for instance, um, even me right now, um, thank God I have this uh, camera mount now, so I can kind of just put it between my legs and hold it. But and it has a self, it has a self mount, so it mounts it, 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 it stabilizes itself. So I don't really have to use it with my hands. Um, but people are not safe. I mean, they're just simply not safe. Um, these roads are here. For instance, you can tell there was a big accident right there. You can tell it was a big accident right there. Um, these guys are they were not expecting this type of weather you know so if you're coming out here they're not expecting these weather guess what they're not gonna salt the roads the roads aren't salted I just left this loves when I say I was busted my ass going up the steps <laughs> I was busted my ass going up the steps because there's no salt there's no chemicals on the on the ground to like you know keep the ground from turning into ice because they're not prepared for this type of weather so then you got drivers like even for me you know sometimes I get caught doing it sometimes too, you know, and I need to work on it, but you having your phone in your hand. If everybody was just driving more safe, man, we'll be all right. There are no big issues out here. I mean, yes, this weather out here. Yes, there's ice. Yes, there's snow. Yes, there's sleet. Yes, there's slush on the ground. Yes, we get that. But if you were being a safe driver, we could avoid these accidents. You know, increase your following distance. That's number one. Let's talk about that. Increase your following distance. You know, um, communicate with each other. Um, decrease your speed. There's all different type of things that we can do to better ourselves so we can protect ourselves and the, and the driver next to you, you know? You see a hazard up, up ahead, you're slowing down, go ahead and hit your hazard lights. Turn your hazard lights on so to, to notify the driver behind you that, hey look, I see something that looks hazardous and that looks that I think you should have caution, slow down. Right now we're all driving over ice, so we're taking our time. It's not the fact that um, there's police or anything up here blocking up the road, it's literally ice. This is literally ice, so everybody's just taking their time. That's why it's a slowdown right now. And especially because I-35, everything that happened. But imagine if somebody was coming through here and they knew no better, 
and they drove through this full speed, of course it's gonna be an accident. 65 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour on this is bad. Shit, hell, 40 is bad. These guys are putting it up. I just passed this rest stop, right? So I don't know if what I saw was correct or not, but I'm just telling you what I saw. So to get inside the rest stop, you couldn't even get inside the rest stop because I guess they blocked it off to get inside, right? Um, then to leave the rest stop, it was also blocked off. So my assumption is maybe that they're not letting nobody get on, or they're trying to keep people from getting on the roads. I don't know. Or maybe I saw that different angle and the cones were placed a certain way. When people say things like, oh, I'm just watching all the other guys keep driving as, you know, the weather is bad. Like, no, no load is that important where you need to drop off in weather like this. You're 100% right. That's why me and my dad were taking our time. Like, I was supposed to leave two days ago, but I'm just not leaving, you know? Um, but I'm going to say this. You don't understand what certain people got to do to take care of their families. Because as much as you're going to say, oh, you don't need to be out here on these roads because it's dangerous, uh, that load is not, it is, it's not that important. Well, that person may be the only sole provider for his family. Because at the end of the day, guess what? The bank doesn't care about you not paying. The, the bank doesn't care about you, uh, about weather. The bank doesn't care about the weather. Your insurance doesn't care about the weather. Your phone bill doesn't care about the weather. Shoot, even during the pandemic, some people were still charging people during the pandemic for rent or whatnot. So I get what you guys are saying, 100%. You guys are right. But at the exact same time, you don't know what somebody else has on their plate. They may have three little girls back at home and they may be the sole provider for that family. Pandemic hit people really hard, you know what I mean? This is all the money that they make. I've seen some people where I know for a fact that they're living on the road with their dad or their mom because they lost their house or their apartment, whatever, during the pandemic. So don't be out here making fun of people because they're out here on the road. Shit, I'm one of those people, I'm out here on the road. I don't need to be, but I know that my company, me and my father's company, the insurance company don't give a fuck about no weather. They don't care. This is literally solid ice. That is solid. That is solid ice on the ground right now. Solid ice. This is insane. <laughs> Yo, it is blowing my mind at how crazy this is. This is my first experience. Okay, first of all, this is my first winter by myself. Um, like I said, well, I used to drive with my dad. We used to team drive. And this is my first winter by myself. With that being said, I see a lot of like pileups and those big accidents on the internet, but I never actually like experienced that type of weather or uh, scenery before in my life. Like I've never experienced that. So to actually, there's a little dog right there. <laughs> oh, she probably thought I was blowing her kiss. Oh, fuck. So what? Trying to get around all this. Um, I think I'm finna just go back home to Atlanta. So drive down here, go where now? Go to the stop sign down here below the hill. Uh-huh. Okay. And you'll come right back to the red light. Okay. I mean, right back to the All right, I'm probably gonna do that. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, for real. Is it an accident or is it just ice? That's it. Ice. Ice. Damn, man. Appreciate y'all, man.
All right, so um, I decided to keep pushing forward. Um, I'm gonna get over here to where the guys said they said go to the stop sign, and then you're gonna make a left at the stop sign, and then it should bring you back to 22. Um, I'm gonna try to go there, and when I get that, when I get to that part, I'm gonna make an executive decision if I should keep going or not. Um, because I'm gonna pass all the traffic, but. Sliding. Oh shit. Okay, I'm about to put it in four by four because I'm not gonna be able to make it up this like this, so thank god for four by four, right? Take my time because I don't want to slide into him. Wow. Thank God I got four by four. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. I'm gonna make an executive decision. When I get to this uh, stop sign, and then it's supposed, to, it's supposed to bring me back to the highway, I'm gonna make a decision I'm come back home because um, I'm, I'm in the back road like the dude told. This dude told me to go down this back road, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm on the back road, and it's nothing but ice. It's worse. It's worse over here, right? But it, but it was a semi truck over here, right? I passed this dude, and he's stuck. I'm like, damn, he's stuck on the hill because there's a hill going up. You gotta go up a hill. So I yeah. stopped and I put it on four by four. I'm crawling up the hill, which I made it. I'm, I'm still going, but um, I pa I passed him and I'm sliding around. I'm like, oh shit! But I'm like, I think I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna make, I'm making this executive decision. If it doesn't clear up by this road that I'm supposed to get at, I'm coming home. Yeah, jump back on the highway and come back on the main highway. This right here, on this, this, I, it, it's. Yeah, it's bad, yo. This is, it's just fucking bad. It's a good thing I got four by four. That's a waste of time, man. I'm in 4x4 four four the whole way right now. It's cool. It's cool to say that I've been out here, but you're right. I don't want to. I just got my truck back. I ain't fucking it up. But something in my brain is telling me, nah, man, drive all the way to Texas, man. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I mean, I wish I would tell you, keep going, you don't make it. But. Gotta be smart, I'm, man. I'm Cause Jay said the exact same thing. She didn't even know truck. She said, "Yeah, if, I mean, if it's like that in Mississippi, imagine when you get to Arkansas and Oklahoma, and then you're gonna be stuck at a rest stop, and that ain't safe." I'm like, "Yeah, she right." Putting the chemicals down the road. Cause even when you put the chemicals down the road, it's still a little slip and slide, but it's it's, it's drivable. This yep. this is actually a sheet of ice, like a sheet of ice. Not even a sheet, like it's a freaking plate of ice on the ground. I've been doing my thing.